going on everyone my name is Dan and this is my phone collection smartphones and dumb phones all of them in September 2019 I have 184 phones at this point as of this video and whenever I reach 200 I will be another video about this so we're going to take a look at them all and uh, not really too much in depth but um you know there are too many phones for me to remember their names exactly so I'm sorry for not mentioning what they are uh, I will do for some that I know, but otherwise I'm sorry. So I'm going to start off here with the iPhones. So this right here is my iPhone 2G. This iPhone 2G is my first ever iPhone. I still own it and it's in quite rough condition, but overall it works. Except for the SIM card reader. Then we have my iPhone 3G. My iPhone 3G is in a little case right there, as you can see. It's running iOS 3, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. It's in decent condition, but it's missing some parts, so that's why I'm not uh, having it out of the case. Then we have a iPhone 3GS on iOS 3.1.3, I think. Sounds like we have a message. And right here, this thing is running iOS 3.1.3 like I said this is another 3GS running iOS 5.1.1 oh no it's 4.1 then this one is running 5.1.1 and this one actually has an English case on it the British flag this is another 3GS this 3GS is running 6.1.6 .6. So is this 3GS, this one is in rough condition, but it works. Vindicator, nice name though. Now we have an iPhone 4 here on iOS 5.1.1. It's in decent condition. Nothing too major. This is another one running 6.1.3. This one's in a case, it's in, uh, in better condition than the other one. Then we have another iPhone 4 on 6.1.3. This one has a battery issue, so it doesn't work. Or it does work, but I can't show it to you. Then we have a white iPhone 4 on 7.1.2 to listen to music on. It's a good condition phone. Couple scuffs on the top overall in great condition here's a 6.1.3 downgraded uh, iPhone 4s so you can see right here white also in great condition then we have another 4s this one here is running 8.2 this one here is also a 4S running on 935. So these phones are all running different softwares, which is interesting. Here's my iPhone 5, it's running on iOS 10.3.3. Decent condition, got a nice case. This right here is a 5S, it's in rough condition, it's running iOS 11.3. Uh, it's in rough condition but it works kinda so yeah this right here is one I saved it was water damage at some point had to put in the passcode this one's running 11.4 decent condition kind of scratched up that's why it's in the case too my iPhone 5c this one is also working except for the baseband chip it doesn't have an IMEI number for some reason Nothing too major, 10.1.1. This is another 5C. This one is blue, doesn't work. And this is another white 5C, also doesn't work. It's in better condition than the working one, apart from the screen. This is another 5C that doesn't work. Kind of in rougher condition, but it works iPhone 6 also doesn't work iPhone 8 in an iFruit case 
this was our main phone now it is my secondary phone that I sometimes use and we have the Samsung Galaxy so here we have a Samsung Galaxy S1 running on CyanogenMod. mod very nice looking phone great for my collection pretty interesting this right here is my Galaxy S Advance this is a Galaxy S Advance a little bit different than the original Galaxy S doesn't have a battery this is my S2 this is a white S2 the NAND's broken so it doesn't work uh, anymore this is my S2 Plus works fine it's a blue one nice phone to be honest I really like this one then we have the S4 Mini S4 Mini has a little crack in the screen you can barely see it but it's there otherwise in great condition also in a nice case here's another Galaxy S4 Mini no, no cracks or scratches uh, on this one also in a nice case very nice phone actually the case is kind of kind of annoying these are my two Galaxy Youngs right here the batteries don't want to work for some reason I charged them up for the sake of this video Galaxy Youngs are in kind of rough condition but they work this is a Galaxy Geo still running on Frojo decent condition phone kind of scuffed up but nothing too bad another Galaxy Geo this one right here does not have a battery Galaxy Ace doesn't have a battery at this moment it does have a Minions case this one is also in good condition actually kind of scuffed up but you can't see it right now but it's uh, it's it's working this is a other Galaxy Ace running Jelly Blast which is something that looks like Jelly Bean but I don't think it is Jelly Bean I made this one, it's in a nice case, this one is in mint condition, then we have the Ace Plus, it's also not in too bad condition but the charging part's broken, then we have to go all the way up here, Galaxy Note 1, this is running Resurrection Remix, Android 6, and it's uh, I restored this thing it's in mint condition it looks nice very very large phone actually has its S Pen 2 which is quite a rare thing here we have a J3 2016 this thing has a cracked AMOLED and a cracked glass however the phone probably works with a battery don't have one it's in rough condition Here's my J3 2017. It has a nice screen for something that's an LCD. Also in great condition. Now for our LG phones. This is a G4S. My mom's old G4S. Nice texture on the back in my opinion. Very nice phone. A G4 stylus. My mom, I gave this to her as a present and uh, she used it for a bit. It's a very nice phone to see, very large screen. The pen however broke off. Back also a nice texture to it. But not as nice as a G4S. Then we have my personal G4 stylus right here. It's got some notifications. This one has a skin called G Loader or something. Google Google Launcher, G Launcher. I'm not sure. Uh, it has the Nilkin Quick View cover. It comes with a stylus that actually works and is in good shape. And then we have an L3 here. The L3 has a broken power button. It's uh, it needs some pressure to it but it works funny texture now my Huawei phones this is a G6 I think but I could be wrong it's in rough condition it's also bent 
but it works so far here's another Huawei phone this however has a cracked LCD so I didn't have it on you can see that right here not sure which model this is and then we have our Motorola's this is a Motorola I don't know what it is it's a smartphone of course but uh, for some reason this one does not work it does show some LEDs when you want to charge it but it doesn't do anything no signs of life whatsoever same goes for this one right here same story the screen doesn't give us any sign of life and it's probably used for parts then we have the Motorola E5 Play also this one was made by my mom gave it to her for her birthday it is now in my possession because she has something else then this one has a fingerprint scanner on the back pretty cool phone to see in general and then we have some Wicos here this is a Sunset or a Sunny they have both names for that this one I don't think has a battery because it's Google locked uh, nope this one however with the big cracks on the screen it does have no Google lock this one works not really a well-known brand a very cheap brand here and um, yeah I wouldn't really use one we have a Wolfgang here this is a funny phone to see yeah nothing too much this right here is the OnePlus One which is one of the more powerful smartphones that I own this one is a really nice device in my opinion the only problem is the screen is coming out it is uh, one of the phones I made before it's a pretty cool phone it runs science in mod and uh, yeah that's basically it it's a fast phone also an MPE62 this one actually fell on the floor and the LCD cracked the phone also doesn't show any signs of life anymore it's a very very large phone I think this must be the, f the biggest one in my collection and then we go to the HTC's starting off with this MDA not really sure what the phone's name is I think it's a HTC Touch or something well I'm sorry for not knowing it it's not really that important what does make this phone interesting is the fact that I just turned this on so I don't know why it doesn't work battery was charged so probably the battery is also dead happens a lot here in my collection got a lot of battery bulges as you can see QWERTY keyboard and you can actually change the orientation of the screen like that to make it more comfortable to work with it this one was running Windows then we have the HTC Touch HD aka Blackstone very nice phone to see it is in decent condition it also is able to run Android which is funny and uh, yeah I mean HTC G1 or T-Mobile G1 it is however also known as HTC Dream it has a trackball just like some of the Blackberries did it has a touch screen and what makes this phone interesting to me is it's the first Android phone released to the public and it has a full QWERTY keyboard and I really like the form factor it has right here I have another other HTC Dream in white or G1 kind of in rougher condition uh, it somehow opened the browser don't do that this one however has a glossy texture instead of the matte texture on the black one but this is a very nice phone otherwise here we have an HTC Hero this HTC Hero is running signs and mod it's a nice phone to see very funny funny form factor with the curve in good condition actually 
just take a few seconds to think it's a HTC wildfire. I don't think it's charged because the battery is draining really quick. It's a funny little phone. Uh, the touch screen on this one isn't really in a good condition. I did char I charged this thing. Oh, it actually works. The touch screen works magically. This is very interesting because the touch screen didn't work for me first. Only this half of the screen worked. I tried taking it apart too, as you can see it's di by far damaged a lot so... Anyways, it magically works again, so... I guess that's a good thing. Okay, then we have an Alcatel One Touch OT991D or 991. And this thing is uh, a wide ass thing, actually, it's very wide. Running a very old version of Android. Thing works, that's about it. Then we're, uh, we've had the smartphone so far, and we're going all the way around the corner here to the other phones that I own.